Medizin für das in London. The team is planning actually by the next visit to transfer you back to your GP. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? That actually makes me so happy. Guys, 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 guys. I'm getting discharged. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. I spent the entire morning tidying my room up. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, I'm having a tour and then I'm gonna wake up again. Hi vlog. I'm tired. I might get to bed, but I can't. Because I need to go and buy food and stuff to drink. I feel really down today. My mood's dipping. <laughs> on me yeah I slept for 19 hours 19 and uh 19 hours well at least I'm doing and I got myself comfy I haven't done anything for this fucking vlog yet the only thing that's happening is tomorrow and that's the home treatment team <laughs> that's how exciting my life is Having BPD is literally the most confusing thing ever because it's like you want to die but then you're like I also don't want to I also you know don't want to be in hospital for this and you're just like but I don't even want to be alive so what's the point it gets so confusing anyone who doesn't have BPD <laughs> won't really understand this but it's like you want to die you want everything to stop you hate your own mind but at the same time you're just like but you know, I don't want to be in hospital for my birthday. You know, it's, it's so fucking hard. I love my lava lamp. I don't want to do it anymore. I can't believe I slept five hours. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Mentioned that we were planning on discharging you. Now you've been accepted by the PD pathway. So that we we're going to try and get them to come with us, but that wasn't really possible. So they'll be in touch. Okay. Yeah. Um, got a support line if you're in crisis. You can obviously still go to A and E if you feel like you're. Right. We're going to make a move. Let you get back on with. Let's go shop time. and get coffee in. Okay, I've run out. In case you want to have more beer than empty cans, I've uh, run out of coffee. And maybe you have a bit of a blitz. So we're going to discharge you. Your GP will get a letter, okay? Yeah. Um, like I said, you've got the support bit from here to there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you're. what's going on i'm back on my camera you know phone vlogs not the best thing so we're using my big camera again we are about to head out to the pharmacy i know the dear vlog to the pharmacy food guest phone purse drink shoes that's what i need hey guys we're outside for once it's my change isn't it I need to set the menu off and play much right just wanted to get my prescription i've been sleeping an awful lot and by that i mean like I've been awake like, it's time that I've been asleep this week normally I normally struggle to get to sleep and not only struggle to sleep for a long period of time 
but this week I've just been sleeping hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and I really don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> the only thing about these vlogs is just eating slightly more skin than you normally would in the video. I'm gonna have my meds now because I'm tired. It just so happens it's after midnight and I can't sleep. So you know what I said earlier about being able to sleep for hours and hours? That's gone. My hair's done. I don't know how all the paper's done. We'll see in the morning. Do, 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 do. Well, that's a great shot. <laughs> so that's the end of this week's vlog. And you're probably thinking, Lydia, why are you talking to us right now? Why is there like another five minutes of vlog? The rest of this vlog is dedicated to my friend Tainian. Tainian was one of my friends who passed away just over a year ago by suicide. She was discharged from a mental health unit way too early. They knew she was going to kill herself and she left the ward with one thing in mind that she was going to go and end her life and she did. She was only 22 and I don't know, I, I just, it hit home. It, like, she was a really good friend. We had so many good stories and I've got some stories coming out soon from conversations that we had and I decided to dedicate the last part of this vlog to her. The rest of this vlog is reasons you should stay alive. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Advice with Lou and I am here today on Lydia's channel to give a few reasons why you should stay alive. And at the very beginning of this, I would also like to state that the reason I joined in in this collab was because I know what it's like to be in a very low place and I've also lost someone to suicide and I struggle with that loss every single day of my life so if I can do anything to help anybody that might be in the same situation and hopefully come together and help save a life then I'm willing to do anything. So without further ado, here are my reasons why you should stay alive. Watching your favourite TV shows. Setting goals. Reading your favourite book. Going to the beach and then going into the ocean. Meeting your internet best friends. Cuddling with your fur babies. Eating your favourite food. Going to see your favourite artist or band in concert. Human contact. Finally visiting the places that you've always dreamed of. Getting your first ever tattoo. Talking all night with that one special person who makes your heart flutter with butterflies. Movie night, going on holiday slash vacation, going to see your favourite panto, summer nights, thunderstorms if that's your kind of thing, <laughs> reuniting with old friends, celebrating your freaking birthday, bonfires, meeting someone famous, achieving your dreams and your goals, getting your first house, singing, dancing, acting, making memories, saving a life, looking back at everything you've been through and survived. But most importantly, you stay alive because of everything that you have been through. You have survived another year. And that is something to be so damn proud of. I'm proud of you and I love you. Even if I don't know you, I'm always here if you need someone to talk to. Because I'm always here to listen. I'd like to end this little segment of mine with a quote that I really, really like. Depression lies. You are loved, you are wanted, you are cared for. And most importantly, you are needed in this world. Hi, I'm Molly, alive from a five-year-old grandson. My name's Ali and my reason for staying alive is you never know how much better things have the potential to get for you in the future and also personally for me now, um, my two beautiful children as well. Hi, I'm Junk Shop. One reason to stay alive is that there's always that one song more time. Today, you might miss something cool. And I could never stand the idea of missing anything. Reasons to stay alive. My name's Sarah and I'm the creator of Sarah Vlogs Life. Reasons left for you to stay alive. There's friends that you haven't met yet. Books that you haven't read. Books that you haven't opened. Letters you haven't received. There are people out there that care. 
I care. Hi, this is Jessica from Moderately Hopeful, and one good reason to stay alive is dancing. Truly really terrible dancing.